Okay, now we're gonna start the training on how to make a perfect Petro. First steps is your training manuals and your training brochures. And the training brochure, every time we make a Petro, what we'll do is we'll come over here and we'll check off each item that we make that is on our, um, on our cheat sheets and we'll mark off to show in that we've done it. The first thing we're gonna do is start with a medium Petro. Okay, and then I'm just gonna show you how to wash your hands even though you probably already know how to, but the health department has some rules. Um, you have to wash your hands for about 15 seconds, and you have to go up onto your wrist and up underneath your fingernails. Then when you turn off the faucet, you always use the paper towels to turn them off. Even if you're wearing gloves and they get sold and you have to take them off, you have to rewash your hands every time you apply new gloves. You have two types of chilies. You have your vegetarian and you have your regular chili. You never want to mix the scoops because you do not want to cross-contaminate the veggie with the regular. The medium Petro, the, um, the Fritos are already pre-portioned out for you and weighed out. You have three different scoops. You have your teal, your blue, and your orange, and they're all three used for the different sizes of Petros. When you're scooping the chili, you always want to scoop from the bottom. Um, if you don't, if you pull from the top, you'll get all the juice and it'll pull straight down to the bottom to get a sinker. So just pull it from and dip it in. Don't be afraid to get it on the side because we have a damp towel for you to wipe off the chili off all the sides. Then we move over to the make station. You also have cheat sheets available for you if you need help um, looking at it if you're back here by yourself. The first thing that goes on is your cheese. You have two different scoops. You have the third and the fourth. For the medium you use a level scoop of the third cheese which is the bigger of the scoop. Scoop it on and shake it around so the cheese covers the petros. You have two scoops, heaping scoops of um, tomatoes. You have one teaspoon of your green onions and then two level scoops of sour cream and when you're doing the sour cream the trick is to scoop it up by um, scraping off the excess on to the side of the pan. Also if you would like jalapenos or black olives which they're optional you would put a scoop of those on before you'd put the sour cream on. And there's your perfect Petro. So we started off with the medium Petro. Um, we have the small Petro and the large Petro also. Um, along with our small, medium, and large, we have gourmet Petros. Um, anytime that you're left on the line by yourself, we have the cheat sheets that can um, show you step by step on how to make a Petro. Um, just remember to have fun and ask questions. Your on-the-job trainer will also be there to help you. Anytime you have an issue, just stop and we will help you because we don't want customers to get in the wrong things. My name is Tish and I'm glad that you're on board and um, we enjoy having you here and just have fun with us.